joined the Marine Corps when I was 18. I had a couple older brothers that had served in the Marine Corps. To be a scout sniper in the Marine Corps, you are part of a elite group. Um, you're considered the world's best snipers. We ended up getting a mission to move into a part of the city that had not been seen since the beginning of the war. We were coming in the back door of this house. One of my teammates, Sweeney, ended up moving in the house first and he stepped on an IED, just blew his legs off. I was very close to the explosion. I didn't see it directly, but I was hit with shrapnel as well. Finally, they get to us and I'm helping carry Sweeney to the truck, get everybody loaded up, and finally they realized that I actually was injured too. They said that I was missing roughly a third of my mouth and my ear on my right side was actually hanging by a thread. When I was retiring from the Marine Corps, it was suggested that I come move into Freedom Station as a transitionary process. I jumped at the opportunity. I, I wouldn't see why anybody would not if, if they have the opportunity to come and see Freedom Station. It's such a wonderful place. What Freedom Station is, is sort of a un incredible way station for those kids that come right from the hospital, most seriously wounded many times, to this place where they can maintain the camaraderie. And what happens here is you'll meet kids here with visible wounds. The more difficult thing to deal with are the non-visible wounds. And they need a place where they can comfortably, warmly transition into civilian life, which will be their new beginning. They find each other here, and in finding each other, they find themselves. I've often thought about where I might be if I hadn't come to Freedom Station, and, and sometimes I, I wonder if maybe I would be that person on the street corner, you know, asking for money, because I know that I've, I've been in some pretty dark places. Being at a place like Freedom Station, they've been able to help me out with the different battles that I've faced in my life. It's given me a drive to give back even more in the future. I think it's important that we have supporters and donors because we need to help them to know that they can leave Freedom Station, walk out that door, get an apartment, a house, get married, have children, and they're going to be fine. And so to have a place like this, which is uh, a place to land, and then to reintegrate into our community, I mean, just look at the successes of the kids that have lived here. This place works. This doesn't happen accidentally. This is not a government program. This depends on organizations like the Blue Angels Foundation that help sponsor a cottage for one of these guys. You're saving a life, man. These young men and women have given their all for this country, for all of us, and it's our turn. We need to show them that we are thankful and we care.